I set the trends, I don't follow them. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's happening? It's Big Lotto, and you're watching On The Rocks. Lotto is short for the lottery, and it just means like the jackpot and 777. For me, it's not just financially hitting the jackpot. It's just hitting the jackpot in life. Like I'm winning, I'm over blessed. My favorite piece is probably this right here. Lately, I've been into the more like dainty stuff. Like this one was a Valentine's Day gift. Inside of here, which y'all not gonna get to see, is like handwritten the letter and a picture and it just made me cry and it's just so sweet and sentimental. That's probably my favorite. Anything, that thing, you see that stone in the middle? Baby, she worth something, you know what I'm saying? Gucci probably is the main reason why as soon as I signed that deal, I went and got the big shit that I could get at it. Gucci got that big ass, say like Ice Daddy or something like that. Gucci is definitely an influence, but I ain't on that no more. That shit, I can't, uh uh. I have not bought a pendant, and I don't see myself buying no pendant, because I was like, oh, new album, I should probably get 777 pendant, but I was like, I don't fucking want no 777 pendant. Like, if anything, I would get like something cute like this. I do also got love for this piece right here. This was my first chain I ever bought. Maybe I bought this chain when I was like 18 from Wafi. She might look like, but she heavy, baby. That was probably like 15,000, and I was only 18, baby, dropping them racks. <laughs> my most expensive piece is, she from Icebox. I got her as a birthday gift to myself, like 120, like a little over 100. But she worth it. Like when I feel like really flexing, I'm bringing her out. Seven is my lucky number, it's God's number. Tripled is just like unbeatable. I'm God's child, baby. We don't, we don't play that. So 777 over here. It became a part of my brand when I changed my name. For me, it's like hitting a jackpot in life, period. Not just financially. This chain is heavy, like no cap. I be scared to perform with that. That pendant will knock a tooth out, chip a tooth some. And these veneers is like, pearly white is like, these is, they cost a pretty penny too, so, you know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to chip these. This one right here is my new baby. I'll take this pendant off and put it on this chain. These these two be competing because they both just hold such special meaning for me. When I got this, I cried like a baby because it's a picture of me and I have a microphone in my hand and, and then the other, it swirls and the other side is my mom holding me at her high school graduation. She got it out the mud and that's where I get my hustle mentality from. She really touched my eye. I was mad at her. I wanted like, girl, don't spend your money on me. Like, let me buy the jewelry. I'm the rapper. But my mom got that bag too now. So she liked to spoil me too. I was mad at first, but when I seen the bag um, from Wafi, I got mad. But then I seen what it was and I just cried like a baby. Like, this was literally just a week ago. The big lotto pendant, she was my first. I got her when I got this AP. I got them both at the same time. That was like my first set of like big jewelry, like rapper jewelry. I got big lotto when I signed to RCA. And then I got this AP custom with the pink Arabic numbers. I probably spent mm, 40, 42, something like that. I wear it in music videos like y'all seen it in the Muwap. She gets her little uh, cameos every now and then, but. She's definitely not an everyday. My favorite watch, I'm wearing her right now. She's my Richard Millie. This was one of my birthday gifts this year. She's baby pink and she busts down. This is probably my favorite one because this is just a flex, like, period. But then recently I had got this plain AP for Valentine's Day. It's so cute, um, gushy gushy. If this didn't cost what it cost it, this will, this will be my favorite watch. You can't have a richer and it not be your favorite watch. That just don't even make sense. This is my favorite watch by default, but this really my favorite watch. Like, I wear this every day. She don't get old, she's just timeless. My first watch was a bust down Rolex. This was my first like expensive, expensive watch. My bust down Rolex was probably like 10, 12,000. I bought that when I was 19. Then I got this, I paid like 40 for that watch. This one was my AP Skelly bust down. I pay attention to my lyrics, I rap about her all the time. It don't get no better AP than this, this like top of the APs. My wrist is dainty, like I don't even need no big ass men's watch. Like if I wear a bust down, it's gonna be this one. I don't even really do that one no more. Like. My bracelets, really, I accumulated all of these at once. I woke up and I went to Wafi and I was like, I, I need some bracelets. 
and I spent like a little over 100. But a lot of times I just wear these by themselves. Some of them is like getting sized and stuff, so this ain't all of them. This is what I'm saying, like I need this in a necklace one, babe. If you watching, I need this in a necklace one, okay? The cheapest one is probably like 5,000. The most expensive one is probably the one my man bought me and I don't even know where that goes. Atlanta being like rapper central, every fucking rapper is in Atlanta or lives in Atlanta. It's a lot of like gaudy, layer your chains, wear a ring on every finger, bracelets to your elbow and stuff like that. So that's probably what inspired me to wake up and go get all them damn rings and bracelets one day. Cause I was just like, damn, I need to catch up. <laughs> I used to really, really be obsessed with Cubans because they like big and icy, whatever. But now I like the the smaller stuff, like just the emerald chain. I need to get like a like a tennis, like a chunky pointer tennis. Like, so I don't even be wearing my pendants like that no more. Too many people got this shit now. I just it's not exciting no more like it used to be. I actually really love my rings. I'm not gonna lie. Like I got them probably like a year ago. These the ones I wear. That big heart one. She is seen on stage. Y'all might see her on stage. Or Whatever, but for the most part, I'm wearing my two love bands, my simple bands. It just, it show like, I know she got money. I don't even gotta see her jewelry collection because I know she got some sitting in her box at home. She don't even wear it. Like, that's what they give. Like, artists don't go wasting your money because you're gonna be like me a couple years later and be like, damn, I just got all this shit. I don't even fucking wear it. Don't let all that like hype and the trends let you go broke. Now, I got the money to spend on this shit. Don't go broke trying to impress people that don't matter. Thanks GQ for letting me show y'all my collection, 777 the album out now. Go get it.